Data Analysis by Variate Correlation Analysis Introduction You might have familiar with various statistical measures such as mean, median mode, standard deviation, skewness etc. of univariate population i. the population consisting of measurement of only one variable. If we have the data on two variables, we are said to have a bivariate population and if the data happens to be on more than two variables, the population is known as multivariate population. In this episode, we will be discussing about Section 1 is about introduction to data analysis section to describes what is bivariate analysis. Section 3 explains what is correlation analysis. In section 4, we will be learning about the calculations of curl peso's coefficient of correlation using basic and product moment formula. Section 5 deals with hypothesis testing. Introduction to data analysis. The analysis of data is the most skilled task in the research process. It calls for the researcher's own judgment and skills. First, let's understand what data analysis is. Data analysis consists of two words, data and analysis. Data can be both quantitative and qualitative type. Most often, business research requires quantitative data for analysis. Analysis means a critical examination of the assembled and grouped data for studying the characteristics or relationships among the variables. Then what is the purpose of data analysis or statistical analysis of data? Statistical analysis of data serves three major purposes. Such as times it summarizes large mass of data into understandable and meaningful form. Times exploring the association or relationship among variables times testing of hypothesis. Now let's understand the types of statistical analysis of data. Statistical analysis may be broadly classified into two categories. They are 1. Descriptive analysis 2. Inferential analysis 1. Descriptive analysis. Descriptive analysis describes the nature of an object or phenomenon under study. This analysis provides us with profiles of organization, work groups, persons, etc. This sort analysis may describe data on one variable, two variable or more than two variables. Accordingly, it is called univariate analysis, bivariate analysis and multivariate analysis respectively. 2. Inferential analysis. This is concerned with drawing inferences and conclusions from the findings of a study. They are 2. Areas of statistical inference, namely times statistical estimation and times the testing of hypothesis. Art 2 Introduction to bivariate analysis Once the data relating to variables are summarized and their pattern of distribution studied, the researcher's next task is to examine the pattern of relationship between the variables under study. This section examines the important measures of association or relationship between two variables. Let's understand the concept of relationship. In examining the relationship between the variables, we have to consider certain questions, such as times is there a relationship between the variables under study? Times if so, what is the direction and degree of their relationship? Times is the relationship a causal one? Times is the relationship statistically significant? The answers to these questions are provided by different statistical techniques and the related tests of significance. The most important measures of association between two variables are times cross tabulation and percentage difference times association coefficients such as lambda, Goodman and Kruskal Stan, Spearman's rank order coefficient, etc. Times correlation coefficient and times regression analysis cross tabulation and percentage difference, 
lambda and goodman and kriskal's tau are used for measuring association between nominal level variables spearman's rank order correlation coefficient is used for ordinal variables when both the independent and dependent variables are interval or ratio level measures correlation or regression analysis is used part 3 correlation analysis Correlation is a statistical measure that indicates the linear relationship between two or more variables. Whereas a regression is used to describe the nature of the relationship exists between variables. The correlation analysis shows whether there is association between the variables. The regression analysis helps in judging causal relationship. In simple correlation studies, The researcher collects data on two quantitative variables to see whether a relationship exists between the variables. There are two types of variables. One is independent variable and other one is dependent variable. Independent variable is also called as an explanatory variable or a predictor variable. Dependent variable is also called as response variable. Correlation analysis involves three main aspects. They are times measuring the degree of association between the two variables, times testing whether the relationship is significant, and times establishing the cause and effect relationship if any. Assumptions to be fulfilled for conducting correlations analysis are times the sample elements should be derived from probability sampling techniques times the values of variables x and y should be normally distributed times the data are measured at the interval or ratio scale types of correlation in a bivariate analysis the correlation may be times positive negative and zero correlation and times linear and nonlinear or curvilinear positive correlation when the increase in one variable is followed by corresponding increase in the other variable that correlation is said to be positive correlation positive correlation range from 0 to plus 1 the upper limit i plus 1 is the perfect positive correlation For example the relationship between income and education children's age and weight negative correlation ranges from 0 to -1 the perfect negative correlation indicates that for every unit increase in one variable there is proportional unit decrease in the other for example supply and price of the product zero correlation means there is no relationship between the two variables x and y in other words is not associated with the change in the other variable for example size of the shirt and the person's salary are not related to each other there are also other types of correlation such as linear correlation nonlinear correlation simple correlation multiple correlation and partial correlation linear correlation refers to a positive or negative straight line relationship nonlinear correlation refers to the curved line type relationship simple correlation shows the relationship between two variables whereas multiple correlation is concerned with simultaneous correlation among three or more variables Partial correlation refers to the correlation between any two out of multiple variables while the remaining variables are held constant. Correlation coefficient The correlation coefficient measures the degree of association between variables. Correlation coefficient is used to determine whether two or more variables are linearly related. If so what is the strength of the relationship the correlation coefficient r tells us about the strength and direction of the linear relationship between x and y the range of correlation coefficient is from -1 to +1 there are several ways to compute the value of the correlation coefficient 
Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation is the most popular method for measuring correlation. This method was developed by Professor Carl Pearson in 1896. It is called product moment correlation coefficient. Part 4 Calculation of Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation for ungrouped data Pearson product moment correlation coefficient The most common measure of correlation is the Carl Pearson product moment coefficient correlation R. This measure expresses both the strength and direction of linear correlation. This can be measured by using two different formulas. One is basic formula and other one is product moment formula. Let us take up an example to understand the calculations of curl pesos coefficient of correlation for ungrouped data. For ungrouped data, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Example, the annual advertising expenditures and the corresponding annual sales for the past 10 years of a company are presented in the table. Find the correlation coefficient between annual advertising, rupees dot in lakhs, expenditure and annual, hours in lakhs, sales revenue using the basic formula as well as Pearson's product moment formula. Also test the significance of the correlation coefficient at a significance level of 0.05. Data on annual advertising expenditure in annual sales. Year I, annual advertising. Expenditure she. Rupees in lakhs. Annual sales, ye. Rupees in lakhs. 2010, 10, 20, 2011, 12, 30, 2012, 14, 37, 2013, 15, 50, 2014, 16, 56, 2015, 20, 78, 2016, 22, 89, 2017, 24, 100, 2018, 26, 120, 2019, 28, 110. In the year 2010, the company has spent 10 lakhs rupees on annual advertising expenditure and the corresponding annual sales revenue was 20 lakhs rupees. In the year 2011, it was rupees 12 and 30 lakhs and so on up to the year 2019 as data given in the table. 2. Find the association between the variables annual advertising expenditure and annual sales revenue, we can use either basic formula or the Carl Pearson's product moment formula. Part 5 Hypothesis Teasing Using T-Statistic Testing of Hypotheses Hypotheses are tested with test of significance. This testing involves the assessment of the probability of specific sampling results under assumed population conditions. Assumptions about the population parameters are made in advance and the sample then provides the test of these assumptions. There are two methods of making the decision. The two methods are equivalent and give the same result. Method 1, using the p-value method 2 is using a table of critical values most computer statistical software can calculate the p-value. If the p-value is less than the significance level, alpha is equal to 0.05, decision is, reject the null hypothesis conclusion, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significant linear relationship between x and y because the correlation coefficient is significant different from 0. If the p-value is not less than the significance level say, alpha is equal to 0.05. Decision, do not reject the null hypothesis. Conclusion, there is insufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significant linear relationship between x and y because the correlation coefficient is not significantly different from zero. Method 2 is using a table of critical values. The p-value is calculated using a t-distribution with n to degrees of freedom. 
The 95% critical values of the sample correlation coefficient table can be used to give you a good idea of whether the computed value or R is significant or not. Hypothesis testing by using table of critical values the significance of the correlation coefficient, since the R value is computed from data obtained from samples, there are two possibilities. When R is not equal to zero, either the value of R is high enough to conclude that there is a significant linear relationship between the variables or the value of R is due to chance. To make this decision, we can use a hypothesis testing procedure. Step 1. State the hypothesis. Step 2. Compute the test value. Step 3. Find the critical values. Step 4. Make the decision. Step 5. Summarize the results. The statistical significance of the relationship between two variables measured by using R and it can be tested using T-statistic. Step 1. State of hypothesis null hypothesis. There is no significant association between the two variables annual advertising expenditure and annual sales revenue symbolically H0. R is equal to zero alternative hypothesis. There is significant association between the two variables annual advertising expenditure and annual sales revenue symbolically H1. R is not equal to zero. Step 2. Computation of test value. The value of the t-statistic to test the significance of R is computed by using the formula. t is equal to 2 1 to nrr. t distribution with n2 degrees of freedom. Let's substitute the values into the formula where R is equal to 0 0.9852 and n is equal to 10. T is equal to 10 to 1, 0 0.9852, 0 0.98522 is equal to 810.970.9852 is equal to 80.030.9852. T is equal to 0 0.003750.9852 0 is equal to 0 0.061 to 0 0.9852 is equal to 16.098. Therefore, calculated T statistic value is 16.098. Step 3. Find the critical values the T distribution value at 5% level of significance on to tailed hypothesis testing. 2 is equal to, to 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.025 and n2 degrees of freedom i.e. 10 minus 2 equals 8 degrees of freedom. Table value is 2.3060. You may find this value in the t-distribution table in the 8th row i 8 degrees of freedom and column headed 0 0.025. Therefore, critical values at 5% level of significance are minus 2.3060 and plus 2.3060. Step 4. To tailed hypothesis testing. The t-statistic value allow the researcher to determine whether the variables are associated with each other or not. If the t-statistic value is large enough to reject null hypothesis, then the sample provides evidence that there is relationship exists between two variables. If the t-statistic is not so large, then the researcher may have insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Although hypothesis tests can be one-tailed, most hypotheses involving the correlation coefficient are two-tailed. Therefore, two-tailed critical values are used. The shaded area on right tail shows 0.025 of the area under the distribution beginning at the distribution table value to 0.3060. The calculated value of the statistic 16.098, which is more than the table value to 0.3060. Hence, the decision is reject the null hypothesis 
there is no significant association between the two variables annual advertising expenditure and annual sales revenue and accept the alternative hypothesis there is significant association between the two variables annual advertising expenditure and annual sales revenue step 5 summarize the results correlation coefficient of the problem is significant and hence the association or relationship between the two variables is significant to sum up correlation analysis is a statistical method used to determine whether a linear relationship exists between the variables. A simple relationship analysis is also called as simple correlation analysis. When a researcher finds that a relationship exists between two variables, he must investigate its direction. Linear correlation refers to a positive or negative straight line relationship. Nonlinear correlation refers to the curved line type relationship. The correlation coefficient measures the degree of association between variables. There are several ways to compute the value of the correlation coefficient. Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation is the most popular method for measuring correlation. With this we have come to an end of this session. In this episode, we have learned what is bivariate correlation analyze and the steps for determining the Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation by using both basic and product moment formula and finally hypothesis testing using t-statistic. Thank you.